Hi friends, I'm Brooke and today's video we're going to talk about leg yield and leg yield nose to the wall, kind of getting horses uh, started on that sort of thing. And I thought it'd be fun to show you, um, you know, what it looks like with a horse with a, some experience and then on some of the greener horses that I'm riding. So I hope you all enjoy this. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you. Okay, we're just gonna start with leg yield nose to the wall in our groundwork. So I'm just gonna have them walk on the circle around me, but as we get to the wall, I'm gonna walk towards his shoulder. I'm just looking for him to yield softly and have some suppleness and some bend to the inside. Then when I get to the end of the line, I can just stop my feet. He'll roll his hind and face up. This is also a good exercise to do if you have a horse that's a little sticky in the shoulder. Um, because they have to look to the inside and they're traveling still towards the outside. So here would be like a right leg yield going from left to right. He has left flexion, but his body's moving to the right. Okay, this is Sierra. She's a six-year-old Spanish Mustang. Um, she has about 60 days of training on her, so she's pretty green. Um, so I'm just gonna go a little ways and help her just kind of get the idea of how to yield to me along the wall here. Um, so just like you saw with the gray horse, I'm gonna ask her to reach out onto the circle to start on her circle. And then as she approaches the wall, I'm just gonna walk towards her shoulder to have her yield away from me down the wall. If she looks to the outside, I'll just do a little bump on the lead rope. If she gets a little stuck, I can use the flag to help her. But I'm really not concerned with a lot of the super technical stuff. Um, I just want her to get the idea of how to um, move in this sort of a position. I do always start off working on this first from the ground before I start my leg yields under saddle. It just helps the horse experience this type of movement um, and get an idea of what I'm looking for on the ground. And then when I do go to start the leg yields under saddle, I'm gonna do it in a similar fashion using the wall. So this really helps the horse get set up so that when I go to do it here in a little bit when I'm on her she at least has some sort of a clue as to what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay I'm going to start off showing you what the leg yield nose to the wall looks like <clears throat> under saddle on a horse that has a bit of experience doing this. Um, so you start off doing this under saddle on green horses because the wall helps stop some of the forward movement and helps create the lateral movement. And that way you're not having a push with your leg, pull with your reins thing because most green horses, when they feel just one leg come on, um, you know, they automatically think forward. And so um, the wall just kind of helps you set them up so that you're not having to pull on the reins and use a lot of um, conflicting aids. Okay, back to um, working with Sierra. So I'm just gonna ride her at the angle I want her at, right towards the wall and apply my right leg just before I get there. She's like, whoops. Kind of bumped her little noggin right there. That's all right. The wall helps stop the forward, and then my aids can help her move sideways. And again, I'm not going to have her go a super long ways like maybe I did on Alo, um, because this is new for her. She's just learning. So I just want her to go a little ways, get it where it feels pretty decent, and then I'll let her out of it. 
She's also learning how to carry the soft feel a little further. <laughs> so you notice once in a while she's a little busy in the bridle, but that's all part of the learning process. So there, that's, that's pretty good. So we'll just give her a little reward for that. And then we'll just look at it again. So I'm gonna ride her right at the angle that I want, about a 45 degree angle. My aids are gonna come on before I get to the wall, but I'll let the wall stop the forward motion. I'm not gonna pull on the reins. I'll just keep her nose tipped towards the wall and my aids on the right side of my body are helping her to move to the left. You don't need to go very far. Then we'll turn, come back the other way. So here, my aids on my left side will come on. Same thing, she kind of got a little stuck for a moment up against the wall. That's okay. It doesn't matter. She can go as slow as she needs to. She's just learning this. There, very good. And then, of course, once it feels good at the walk, then you're just going to do the same thing at the trot. And it, same sort of things might happen. The angle might not be perfect. You might lose a little rhythm. You know, some of these little technical things, it's not that big of a deal. And then as you practice, it'll get better and better. Okay, once leg yield nose to the wall feels pretty good and you think that your horse has a decent understanding of the aids and what you're asking of them, then the next step is to just start um, riding some leg yields at the walk without using the wall um, to help you with the forward motion. So I'm just gonna show you a few on ALO here at the walk. I'm just leg yield towards the fence. <clears throat> And if your horse is a little further along, I really like to ride them like this. I ride my half circle to the inside. Then at the top of my circle, I change flexions. And now I leg yield the other way. Okay, back to Sierra. So I'm just gonna turn early down the long side and then just see if I can ride a couple steps of leg yield towards the wall. It doesn't matter to me at the very beginning that the leg yields aren't technically perfect. Most horses, their shoulders are gonna arrive at the wall before the hind quarters, and that's okay. We're gonna fix all that down the road. First, I just wanna build her confidence and have her figure out what it is I'm asking her to do. And she gets to work on carrying the soft feel a little further as well. Then of course, once it feels pretty good at the walk, then I'd start it at the trot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helps to see maybe the little steps I take in getting a horse ready to start riding some leg yields. Thanks. <laughs>